Hi, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, very dark man leaked a voice call between Bobrisky and someone that we don't know. In that call, Bobrisky was heard talking about how he paid 15 million naira to EFCC for them to drop the money laundry charge against him and pursued only the naira mutilation. Also in that audio is where Bobrisky was confiding in that person that he's having a conversation with on call that he didn't actually sleep in prison, that he slept outside of prison. They got him an apartment calling on big, big names in Nigeria, Comptroller General of Prison, calling on uh, Falana, I mean, the senior advocate of Nigeria, files the bad guy's father, calling on them on how they all rallied around to help him in his case. I will also leave the leaked audio behind, but I just say, let me brief you before you know, hear the audio. Now again, another interesting thing is that EFCC has invited both Roy Darkman and Bob Risky. They invited them to their office, I'll read it out in full for you. Then again, they have launched an investigation into the issue. It was according to, in that audio conversation between Bob Risky and someone, he was trying to say, that he paid the money for them to drop money laundry case against him. And my question is, is it, that means, is if actually that audio is true, that conversation is real, because Bobby C come out to the bank saying that that is fake audio, that is not his voice. In fact, when, <laughs> when he was talking about it, he said, what makes you think someone that went or publicly admitted hacking into someone's phone because... I think a few weeks ago, Brian that man made it public that he hacked into Yabojo's phone just to get evidence that Yabojo and Tuntulike are this lover, that both of them are this lover. So, publicly coming out to say he hacked into someone, like, committing, you committed an offense, and you're publicly coming out to say it. And at the same time, Bob Ricky took that against him when he was writing, that how can you trust someone that hacked and publicly admits hacking into someone's phone? How can you trust that person to come and bring out this audio saying that it's Bob Risky's audio? But you guys watching me, you will watch that audio and decide for yourself is this actually Bob Risky's audio? But mind you, in law court, if you say, like very dark man is saying that it's Bob Risky's voice, the only is on very dark man to prove that that is actually Bob Risky's voice. At the end of the day, he also made Bob Risky's number public. And now, let's go over to the audio. You listen to it yourself. I'm a very big influencer. I have over 5 million followers on my Instagram. So, my Facebook. And they're paying me uh, on my Facebook every month. So, I'm okay. So, they were like, yeah, all those money cannot still make me buy house of 15 million and pay knock. And where I'm staying in a Chevron. Blah 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 blah. The shah put the money laundry shah. They charged me to court. So when they charged me to court, we had to beg them that okay, if they want to remove the money laundry, how much would they collect? They said we should go and bring fifteen million uh, that they will remove the money laundry. I called my friend, you know, because I can't use my account. I wanted to send money from my account, but they said I'm still under investigation. I cannot withdraw from my account. So I now called a few of my friends. You know Polanco, Elele? Mm -hmm. That Polanco, yeah, is my very good friend. So I called him. I told him. He was like, ah, no, I can't want to send the whole thing. I can't want to send the whole thing. He now gave me, I gave him my brother's account. He now sent eight million. Me, he can only say I sent the same year. Yeah, I was even shocked sure that he can send that kind of amount of money. He said, "Ah, I'm a good guy. I'm a very nice person." So I called the mola. The mola in New York. He is my friend too. Mm -hmm. The mola sent to one million naira because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust. That's right. The mola sent me one million. Yeah, the mola sent me one million immediately. Transferred one million naira to my account. Then I called other few people because I can't start making call because I, I don't know who sets me up. So let me not start calling the the wrong people. No, okay, Do you okay. understand? Sure. Uh, so I called the people I trust. So the, the money share complete picture. I think 
They now remove money laundering. They now took me to court for spraying of money. The old thing started from the old thing started from when they gave me best female dress. You saw that video, Abby? That they gave me best female dress. Yes, that's yes, when the yes, old thing yeah. Yeah, that's when the old thing started from you know, jealousy, everything. Mm, envy. So mm. we shall we shall have got to court. I shall have told them that I'm guilty that ah, maybe because we will pity me or say, Oh yeah, pay fine. I know or or community service. Sadly, the court sentenced me. So, you know, I was on my way to the prison. Then my godfather called me and said, you will not enter that prison. Don't worry. Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison. That is going to call the, um, going to call the controller in my, that's overall in Nigeria, in Abuja. And I'm going to talk to them. They shall talk before I come back, Sha. Then I took me to one apartment that I must not come out till I finish my sentence. That's so fast. That they go with that. Okay. The other said that they should come out. The other said that they should come and keep me here. That I mustn't, um, I mustn't go like enter data, but nobody should know that I'm not there. Yes. You know. So they said the guy will call him money. I had to call Elila again because there's nobody for me to call. Elila gave me, um, gave me one, uh, two million, the balance of two million. So now the, so I'm supposed to come out in, um, I'm supposed to come out in what's it called? Ending of July next month. Okay. Twenty ninth. Okay. His father is a is a son, so first reach out to me, his father spoke to me, his father said, we can apply for pardon. Okay. That pardon, the, my case is federal. That's so that the federal can actually pardon me, that's the president, that he can do it, that I, if they pardon me, I can even leave here by next week. Do you understand? I don't have to wait till like uh, ending of next month. Okay. okay, so the man started the pardon. He said he wants to send it to the uh, minister, minister of Justice in Abuja. So Minister of Justice will now send it to President to approve it. But you know Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything, they take it fast to him. That the man, they said they will collect ten million naira for him to get that. That pardon will clear my name. Of the record of the record, which is not yes. bad, that which exactly. So, you know, there's nobody to call because, like, I have friends, so but you know, you don't know who set you up, you know, and they've not yeah. opened my account. Bobriski said all these things, like, he contacted uh, somebody to borrow him money, and the person recorded everything. Now, uh, just in case uh, Bobriski go on argue, let me drop your number. Uh, this is your number, eh? Now, nah, why? Uh, so, this is your number. Your number ends with uh, 2208. That's what your number ends with. So, this is you. Actually, you cannot deny anything. The voice audio between Bobreski and the other person that we don't know yet, in the voice, the human mention of his godfather calling the controller of prison to help them organize an apartment that is close to the prison where he can stay. And the condition is that he's going to stay in that apartment without coming out till the day that he will be released from prison, officially done with his seven. Then another thing, the remarkable thing that he said is that the EFCC they kind of negotiated with them talking about how to drop the money laundry charges against him but they charged him fifteen thousand. he rallied around with friends around making calls and he finally got the money and paid them they dropped it in that voice audio too they also talked about pardon they talked about how to get pardon so that whatever it is that he did money laundry and our mutilation will be wiped away and that is where far the bad guy came in because far the guy according to the, the audio he contacted his father, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Isam, and they talked about meeting someone that is that has the power to pardon people that is from federal government, obviously. Yeah, and when we talk about pardon, there's nothing illegal about pardon. Yeah, it happens. 
president can come and say, okay, this, this, this person in the prison, allow him, let her go, let him go. His sins are pardoned. His crimes are pardoned. So it's legal. It's in the law that they can give pardon to prisoners. And also governors can also do that to prisoners. So in that aspect, there's nothing bad about it. But uh, according to the voice uh, note that the call, that the pardon, they are demanding 10 million naira. Probably the person might not want to do it for you, just free of charge, but to charge you. But one thing I want to point out is that pardon is not an illegal thing. It's illegal till it's permitted by law. Now the EFCC has invited Babrisky and Brian Darkman, it's going to be a long ride. So stick around and give you guys the updates about the outcome. At this point, if you have not subscribed, subscribe and join this family so that every update about Barbaroski and very dark man on this issue, you'll be the first to hear the first time here and also to dissect and dilute which is legal and is illegal. I mean, what am I here for? <laughs> I know they love. <laughs> so that is, by the way, according to very dark man, this is just the part one. The garlic voice call is just a part one so nobody knows what the past two will be like but for me I, I would like to tag this case a very high profile case because why i target a very high profile case because high profile people are involved imagine controller of prison imagine san falana it's not advocate imagine the person the godfather of Bobrisky that has the contact the direct contact of control of prison no more people that are involved in this case <laughs> let me remind you in fact at this point in time i fear for the life of um very dark man but it is what it is we will stay here and see what it turns out to be thank you if you watched to this point that is for you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'll see you guys in my next video bye